One of the most important things to understand about the timeline is the hierarchy. The hierarchy can be found when creating timelines, but also when programming and editing them. If I start by creating a new timeline, I will be given access to all of the tracks currently sitting on the network. Open up the engine, I will find my mix. Open up my mix, I will find my layers. Open up my layers, I will find their parameter groups and inside there, I'll find all of the other values. As you can see from the left hand side, there is an indentation to show how the hierarchy sits inside the Hippo network. If I select brightness, it will only enable brightness. However, if I select color, it will enable everything within that hierarchy. This can be continued into layer, into mix, and into the engine. I'm going to start just by adding layer one on mix zero for this first example. Once you've created your timeline, it will be shown here in the left hand side. The timeline itself will be shown here in the right hand side. And I can open up my tracks like so. And once again, that indentation will be shown so you can always see where you are within the hierarchy. The hierarchy also comes in useful when making changes. If I take the brightness event here and decide to move that down the timeline, only the brightness is going to be affected. However, undo this step and use the corresponding diamond in the parent group, this being color. If I select the color diamond and move that value, then it's automatically going to select everything within the color, but leave everything else as it is. Very useful for making changes to single values, groups of values, or even more. Always bear in mind that any changes you make to the timeline will always be affected on where you select within the hierarchy. So don't always just think in time, also think in the hierarchy of the tracks within the layers.